Roblox is deleting accounts over this right now and you could potentially be in trouble. People hate this Rolls YouTuber and more insane news today. So if you're new, we're trying to reach 4,000 subs. So help us out and subscribe. Thank you and let's get into it. And first, let's start with a pretty interesting new Roblox avatar like glitch going around. So recently, a lot of people have been tweeting out saying that using the game catalog avatar creator, you can now make your skin tone any color. Which if you're a bit confused what I mean by that, right now when you go to select your skin tone on Roblox, you have a bunch of options. However, you can't make it exactly like what color you want to. You're still very limited however as you can see here using catalog avatar creator it gives you just like the whole color wheel so you can literally select any color in the entire world which aren't options that roblox gives you and it's pretty crazy right now because you can change your avatar be very customizable with this and it works in game and everything like that it's not just for the game which is pretty crazy now to be fair i saw some people saying that it's been in the game for a while but i've seen so much tweets about this recently so i feel like a lot of people are just finding out including me right now and it's a pretty insane feature with that being said though since this technically isn't like an official roblox thing i think it is still a bit buggy and glitchy and i've seen some people saying that if you like save the avatar with the different skin tone it's not going to actually save properly however if you just do the skin tone and wear the avatar it'll work properly but you can't seem to save them right now because it's not officially in roblox however pretty cool and pretty kind of insane glitch going around i don't know how this is even possible but it works and it's pretty cool right now and a lot of people are doing this right now to get some colors that they've never even seen on Roblox before. And anyways, with that being said, our next story of some big drama going on in the community right now. People being angry at a Rolls YouTuber, that being Tanker. And if you're wondering why people are angry, DJ Ninja here to us saying that, Why is a Rolls YouTuber Tanker changing the most popular video's thumbnails to AI-generated thumbnails? Just why? And as you can see here, that's exactly what he did. Which just seems kind of random and a bit off. All those most popular videos he's changed to AI thumbnail and art. Which obviously a lot of people aren't a fan of just for a number of reasons. I mean, number one is kind of weird. It just seems kind of off to change them after all these years. They look kind of terrible, a lot of people are saying. And also obviously the whole argument of like, you know, he's not paying actual artists and stuff like that. And if you read the comments, a lot of people are angry at Tanker for all of this. And a lot of people are also just saying like he fell off. And people are just saying that it's like a horrible move from him and a lot of people are getting angry at him. However, with that being said, there definitely is some sense behind this change. Even if the videos are a bit old because changing thumbnails even years later will help affect your video and it can potentially get him more views. And that's kind of what Quick Guy mentioned here in his tweet responding to all this saying that I personally don't like AI generated thumbnails or icons. And it's also clearly the general sentiment on Twitter. But from the data I've seen, AI generated thumbnails and icons can perform well, if not sometimes better. I'm guessing the general public in A can't tell the difference or B doesn't care. To answer your question though, updating old videos with new thumbnails can lead to new traffic on those videos. My guess is testing whether or not the new thumbnail style will increase CTR, and CTR is click-through rate. So basically he's testing out these new thumbnails to see if people click on it more, and also trying to pick up the videos again, because obviously after a few years the videos stop getting a bunch of views, but if you change the thumbnail, there's a chance to start getting views again and picking up views, so that's probably the reason behind all these changes. But with that being said, the drama still kind of stands with people being being like, even if it is better for his channel when he's trying to pick up the views again, a lot of people still don't like him using AIR and just think it's got like a really weird move from him. What do you guys think about all this though? Because it's pretty 50 50 in the community. Some people just straight up don't care, but some people also think it's pretty bad. In my opinion, I think the AIR thing is kind of weird. And I know a lot of YouTubers have been reusing it recently, but also with that being said, I don't think it's too bad that he's using it if he's just like kind of testing around right now. And I also don't blame him, you know. Changing old thumbnails on videos is a very, you know, popular tactic. People do that all the time. With it being AI though, that's obviously where most of the controversy comes from. But I can also see why he's doing this. And with that being said, our next story is some pretty interesting new Roblox collabs coming soon. And some of the most random ones I've seen so far. Because the first one is the amazing world of Gumball. And they made a tower defense game apparently. As we can see here, Blocks Media tweeted us saying, Warner Bros expands their presence on Roblox with the amazing world of Gumball Tower Defense. And as we can see here, I don't know if the game is out just yet, but this is what it's going to look like where you're in like the Gumball universe and it's a tower defense game, which is really weird. I don't know why when companies join Roblox, they always do some like weird collab. If you guys remember, SpongeBob had that like, GameFam collab where they made like a pet similar clone and now the amazing world of Gumball is making a tower defense game. It's just very weird, but... I guess kind of exciting because a lot of people do like this show. Like I mentioned, I don't know if it's out just yet, but it should be coming soon. And also with that being said, we got more updates and more leaks about an upcoming One Piece collaboration game with Netflix. As we can see here, just a bunch of stuff getting leaked. Like there's wanted posters, there's like characters getting leaked and stuff like that. And also with that being said, this event is kind of concerning for a lot of people because as we've seen, a lot of times when companies and popular companies join Roblox, especially animes, they take down games and one of the biggest games, Bloxfruits, is inspired by One Piece, so a lot of people are concerned, but to be fair, I'm pretty sure Bloxfruits has changed some stuff in the past, so they should be clear of any, you know, big drama when this game comes, but a lot of people are still concerned. 
but in general two very interesting roles collabs especially the first one just kind of random and weird but they don't seem that bad and with that being said our next story of a pretty awful roblox thing happening recently so public UTC has been out for over 24 hours now and obviously it's been off to a horrible start like already we've seen a bunch of bypass items people uploading inappropriate items stuff with inappropriate names fake limited and stuff like that and it's been a complete mess like we all expected if you want a more in-depth review of all like the inappropriate and bypass items i made a whole video on my other channel link in the mid comment but with that being said i want to focus on one item that's pretty horrible because a lot of people have been uploading this dominus right here called a dominus mortis or just naming it something else but it's inspired off the deadly dark dominus and the reason this is bad and worse than like all the other items is because if you guys remember this is the dominus that people ended up paying like forty thousand dollars like real money for like one of them sold a few months ago for forty thousand dollars and then another one sold for apparently fifty to eighty-five thousand dollars real money, which is actually insane. And if you're wondering why this item is so rare, basically, just quickly, it was basically an exclusive toy code, and that toy was only at an exclusive event, so you have to be at the right place at the right time, and only like twenty or thirty exists, so it's very rare. And in general, this is kind of awful, just because like imagine spending your life savings on a rules item just for people to make it cost a hundred robux. Like that's pretty awful to see, and that definitely stings. And speaking of the awful situation, public UC opened up a bunch of more problems. Like for example, as we all expect probably once again a lot of people are just stealing people's items straight up like a lot of youtubers items creators items stuff like that which is just awful because a lot of people probably put time and effort into making these or pay someone to commission them and they're just getting stolen straight up and put on sale for cheaper and also with that being said to make everything way worse since public ugc made everything so bad a lot of youtube creators are actually quitting now like polar club here who's been a prominent figure for so long said that they're kind of going to move on to bigger and better things and they don't know if they're going to continue uploading items just because they're going to kind of wait to see how bad it really gets which is actually insane and public UTC has been only getting worse over these past few days and opening up more problems which speaking of let's get into our last story where because of public UTC rules updated some rules that is actually causing people's account to get deleted every year tweeted out saying that breaking with rules as public UTC rights manager updates there are reports that shoulder pals avatars that contain even just one item for another developer are being taken down TLDR shoulder pals are no more unless you get written permission from each creator so yeah it's actually insane because obviously so much shoulder pals are out there and so many people make shoulder pals and a lot of them have other items or even robust items and this is a new rule like i've been followed up just saying like before everything people would try to like take shoulder pets down and it wasn't letting them but now it actually is which is actually crazy and also as we can see here apparently it applies to just general like items as well if you use another creator stuff like shirts and other accessories and apparently even official rules accessories aren't safe which is actually insane so if you have any item that references another creator's item or official rules items you could get your account deleted over this right now but mainly shoulder pets i'm pretty sure just because those are the main culprits it seems like because those always use another creator's items because you know it's just like a character which actually is insane and so much people are in danger right now because so much of these items actually exist out there and as we can see here this person is saying that well it's been a fun 13 years so yeah an account of 13 years got deleted over this where it says rules does not permit users to violate intellectual property rights and then they followed up saying turns out it was a shoulder pal which got his account deleted which is actually insane just for one item they're deleting accounts right now all right so i was ending this video the problem kind of got way worse because not only are people's accounts getting deleted for the shoulder pet thing but in general the new kind of copyright system on roblox is fully broken right now people are abusing it which leads to account warnings items getting deleted and also bans right now so literally every type of roblox warning ban and deletion is happening right now over like false strikes because the new dmca system is pretty stupid a great example of this is Creecraft, you know, one of the biggest creators tweeted out saying that My hat on Rolls got deleted due to a DMCA copyright takedown Either A, Rolls filed it themselves or B, someone's already abusing the new DMCA system So yeah, as we can see here, after years of this item being up, Creecraft got a warning over it and the item's gone now, which is pretty unfortunate and also with that being said, I feel like this has to be the new DMCA system, people abusing it, because it's too much of a coincidence for this to happen now, I feel like. Because right now, everyone's abusing the system to, like, troll YouTubers and also get people's accounts deleted or banned, so it's pretty horrible right now, and literally almost any item can be affected by this. And obviously this is a massive problem, because like I mentioned, it's not just shoulder pals, it's any item, which obviously a lot of people have done in the past. Like, I feel like public UGC has just been constant chaos in literally every single aspect, you know? The general concept of it is really bad, then this situation happened and then people are quitting because of it. It's so horrible right now and it actually doesn't say situations going on. But with that being said, if you enjoyed, check this video to find out how public UGC ruined another pretty insane thing. I'll see you in the next one.